Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I'm really excited to show you how to use the Let's Filter inside of Effects. I've simply taken a photo from Browse and I've opened it up here into the Effects module. To apply the Let's Filter, I'm just going to come over to where it says Add Filter, click on it, and then select the Let's Filter. Now, if you're not familiar with a LUT, a LUT means lookup table, and lookup tables are kind of a universal way to store color and contrast and saturation information that can be shared across different types of applications. They've been really popular in video apps, but they're also available in photography apps like Photo Raw as well. Now, we include a ton of lookup tables to get you started, but you can also import your own as well, and we give you the LUTs filter to help you apply and control them. So let me show you how to do that. So first off, it's going to automatically use the LUTs that we install. And you can see those over here in the LUTs filter styles. And there's a ton of them. You can view them larger if you click right here on the Quick View Browser button. This will give you a nice full screen view of those different lookup tables. And then you just simply find one you like and click on it to add it to your photo. When you click on one of those styles, it'll set the category and the LUT file for you automatically. Now there's a lot more. See, so when I click on category, you can see additional categories of lookup tables. And inside of each category, there's a range you can select from. Let me go back to the one that I like here. There's also a contrast and a saturation slider, which are useful for tweaking what the LUT's appearance is on your photos. And also, because the LUT's is a filter inside of effects, you have all the cool things you can do with filters. You can stack multiple filters on top of each other. You can use any of the masking tools, like the masking brush or the bug, to blend those in or selectively apply them. And you can use the blending options to apply it to certain color areas or protect it from applying to certain tonal areas as well. It's a really powerful tool. But perhaps the coolest thing about LUTs is that there's so many of them out there that create lots of cool cinematic or vintage color looks. Now, like I said, we include a lot of them, but you can also find a lot online for free or packs that you can purchase. And we'll import lookup tables in the .3DL or the .cube format, the two most common format types. To add them, all you do is click right here on the import button. This will open up the extras manager. You notice there's a tab right here for lookup tables. I'm just going to select that and click on the import button. Now I'm just going to go find some that I found online. I have some from our good friend Matt Kleskowski right here. Here's kind of a sample pack of some of his LUTs. I'm just going to select those lookup table files like that. There we go. I'm going to put those into a category. I'm going to create a new category. There we go. And we've imported those six new lookup table files right there. Once I've imported those, I can find them right here in the category pop-up. All of the ones we include are in the top, and then below that you'll see where it says My LUTs. Right down here, there's that new category LUTs that I just imported. I can select that, and then in the pop-up below that, you'll see all of the different LUTs that I just imported. I like this fall red one right there, and I'm just going to pull the saturation on it back just a little bit. There you go. You've seen how to use the LUTs filter to apply lookup tables, You've seen that you can use the blending and masking tools to selectively apply them, and I've shown you how to import them. Let's open a whole new world of creative options right here inside of Effects. Thanks for watching.